All right, this is a quick video on how to modify a 12 volt uh, Power Wheels Barbie Jeep to 18 volts. Uh, really should only take you about uh, 10 minutes or less. I probably did this in about five minutes, but I've done it before. Um, real easy, so this was actually a six volt um, connector here, but I'm using it the same as like the 12 volt, 12 volt um, Power Wheels uh, battery adapter. Um, so all you'll need to do to modify it to 18 volts is first you'll have to cut the black wire um, from the vehicle to the to the stock power wheel connector um, that connects to the power wheels battery. Uh, so you'll clip the black wire right here. You'll need a inline uh, 30 amp fuse uh, inline fuse holder. Um, this kind of protects it from uh, the batteries overheating or, or catching fire or anything like that. It'll burn burn the fuse out before it causes any kind of electrical issue with the battery. Um, so you'll, you'll uh, hook the inline fuse to the black negative of the battery connector, uh, the stock battery connector, and then the uh, black uh, wire that's coming from the vehicle that you clipped, you'll use a female adapter, um, slide adapter, on that part that's coming from the vehicle. Um, you'll also use a splice connector right here to uh, basically clip clip the inline fuse to the negative of the of the stock battery connector. Um, you'll put a 30 amp fuse in the inline fuse here, and then you'll put a female connector. You'll put that on the end of the inline fuse, and it's real easy how you hook it up. Um, if you have the stock Power Wheels uh, 12 volt battery, you'll just plug um, the connector. I'll set this battery in here. I'm not using the stock battery. Um, I'm using an aftermarket kind of battery. Okay, so I don't have the regular uh, stock Power Wheels battery. Uh, I actually made this wiring harness uh, myself, which if you check out my YouTube channel, um, you can check out how to uh, easily make a uh, wiring adapter um, out of the uh, Power Wheels um, battery connectors. Uh, anyway, I'll get back to it. So I've got this modified battery uh, wire harness I'm going to hook up. Uh, if you have a stock battery, um, you'll just plug in your stock battery to the uh, stock uh, plug right here, which I'm going to see if I can do this with one hand. Okay, so now that you've got the uh, your stock battery plugged into the stock connector, uh, from this black uh, wire right here that you have the inline fuse hooked up, what you're going to do is you're going to hook that up to your 6 volt battery. So you'll have the 12 volt battery and a 6 volt battery. So you're going to plug this inline fuse to your positive on your 6 volt battery. And then I'm going to go ahead and set this in here. Then what you're going to do is from the from the vehicle you'll run and hook up the black wire to the negative of the 6 volt battery. Now that's got everything wired up. So you've got your 12 volt 12 a 12 AH battery and your 6 volt 12 AH battery. If you're going to buy new batteries, I recommend uh, you need to get the same uh, AH, which is amp hours. You need to get the same AH battery. So if you get a 12 volt 10 AH battery, then you'd want a 6 volt 10 AH battery. Um, the 12 AH kind of represents how long the battery will last. So the higher the AH, uh, the longer the battery uh, will stay uh, charged uh, for you. So 12 volt 12 AH and 6 volt 12 AH uh, is a good combination, um, and uh, you know it should last you know a good good while uh, for the kids. Uh, so once you get that done, you can just slide everything in place, put the hood down, and let the kids uh, test it out. Okay, we're gonna test out the uh, newly modified Barbie Barbie Cruiser Jeep that we just bumped up to 18 volts against the Jeep Hurricane 18 volts. On your mark, get set, go!